<laughs> what I found. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sister came home from work and I was walking up to my room and like see these like two really old ladies come out of this one room that's on my floor and then this other like older woman comes up behind them and like she says hi to me so I say hello back and she's like oh like do you live here and I was like yeah and then she was like oh tomorrow at 2 p.m. come to this room and I was like, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm working at that time. And she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, all right. And that was the end of that. And so then today I came home, I was walking and I saw her at the elevator downstairs and she was like, hey. And I was like, hi. And she's like, you going home? And I was like, like, what? Yeah, but I, I, was, I was going to, I wasn't going home like right that second. I was going to go pick up a package from the like place where they leave packages at. <laughs> she was like, oh, like, like, she was like, like, come on. Like as if like I was supposed to like hop in the elevator with her to go up to our floor. And I was like, oh, like, oh, I, I'm not going just yet. And then she was like, oh, um, give me your phone number. And I was like, why? <laughs> and she was like, uh, because. I have a part-time job for you and I was like sorry I, I'm not allowed to have a part-time job and she was like oh all right and yeah I don't know it was really weird like I don't know what kind of part-time job she could try like it was so I don't know I felt really like sketched out afterwards I was like oh like what's she doing why why was she about to like try and like I don't know, sex traffic or something like I don't know. It was really creepy. Yeah, so I feel really, I feel really like low key, like paranoid and like this lady. Is she like a pimp or something? Like what? What kind of part time job was she trying to offer me? And like the thing is, she didn't say anything, like no details or anything. She just like let me have your phone number for a part time job. What's the job? Like what the heck? Uh, I finally got my apartment unpacked. Uh, well, for the most part, it's like ninety. 8% unpacked. I also, so this is what I was going to pick up from the puff stage. I bought a Fitbit, guys. Because <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I hope this helps, you know, keep my fit life together. I'm really gassy today. I don't, I don't know if it's from the subway or what, but man. I don't know if I've mentioned it for the vlog. I know I've posted it on my Instagram, but I updated my phone, you guys. I finally freaking got a new phone. This is my first phone I've bought for myself ever in my life, you guys. I'm adulting hardcore 2018. I bought myself a laptop. I bought myself a phone. I bought a couch. <laughs> I'm an adult, like, full-fledged, real life out here, man. My old phone. I've had this phone for a while. This is a freaking, this is a 5S. It's like, it's just... It was just time for it to go. Just first of all, it's 16 gigs, and like you can't do nothing with 16 gigs of memory. So my phone was just constantly full, and it was just like, just being stupid half the time. Like certain apps would just like not work sometimes. And sorry, my camera's all over the place. And yeah, anyway, it was just time for an upgrade. I just got the eight. Um, and yeah, people are like, why didn't you get the ten? I'm like, well, because I don't really care that much. Like, I just got a new phone because I needed a new phone. I didn't get a phone. Like, I'm not big into phones, like, technology. Like, oh, I want these, I want these specs, and I need this sort of camera, and I need this function, and I need that. But, like, I don't really care. So, for me, like, paying extra money for a 10 for whatever the 10 does that the 8 doesn't do just wasn't that appealing to me. I really don't care. Um, and, yeah, it, it does what I needed to do. It makes calls. It gets on Instagram. It takes photos. That's all I need. I got 256 gigs, so your girl ain't ever gonna run out of memory. I don't know what it is this week, but this week I've been kind of, I've been really missing my old students a lot this week. Like, I even had, like, dreams about them. Like, the other night, like, all my dreams were just, like, me being in my old school and, like, just being with my old students. And, yeah, I haven't thought about, like, I, I've been thinking about them a lot this week. I really miss them. Like, I don't know. 
Uh, this is now what week two, week three of school, I think. This is week three of school. Um, at my new school and like I mean there's nothing wrong with my new kids or anything but it's just like I don't know I don't know if it's just just having a you know I don't know it's just it, they're just new so I don't know them well so like I did my old kids you know because I was with them for three years but then also like the class sizes their classes were so small that I was able to know like each and every one of their names and I know their personalities, I knew what they can and couldn't do, like I knew their interests, what they liked, what they didn't like, but like my with my new kids, like I have 20, what, 25 students in my classes now, and like I don't know any of their names, I don't know what they like, I don't know what their, like what their English abilities are, like I don't know anything about them, and it's just, I hate it, I hate not knowing these kids. Both my after school classes, the classes are smaller. Um, so like, I mean, I, I'm learning their names and I'm learning their personalities and and it's fine. But like just with my regular class, like morning classes, I only see them once a week. And yeah, and there's 25 of them in a classroom. And I just hate that I don't know their names. And I like, it just, it just feels so impersonal. It makes me a little sad, but I'm hoping it'll get better. Um, you know, as time goes on, and yeah, I also teach. I also teach kindergarten this year. I'm I'm 99% positive that's illegal. Like I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be teaching kindergarten, but whatever. Um, but yo, my kindergartners are off the chain. I don't know if it's just because like it's like a new person in the room and like. They just like act out because there's someone else in the room or if they're like this all the time. If they're like, the, if the way they behave, if they're like that all day long, I feel so bad for those kindergarten teachers. Um, but I'm hoping they calm down soon because I can't, <laughs> I like, like I'm, I, it's gotten to the point, like, I, I, I just, you know, I just don't look forward to going to that class right now because they're just crazy. I had to pull this other little boy off another boy because he was like kicking the other kid in the throat. I literally had to like drag him off of them because the kindergarten teacher was too busy. Like, was busy trying to wrangle up another child who was doing something they weren't supposed to do. Like, I don't know what it is. These boys are constantly like fighting at each with each other. Like the girls are so fine. The girls are so sweet. Oh, my video's done. The girls are so sweet and like chill and calm, but the boys, like, like it's like 10 boys and like, Seven out of ten of them are like off the chain. And yeah. And then this past weekend, the worst one wasn't even there. He left school, or he left early. He left as I was coming. I was like, oh yeah, that one real little bad boy ain't gonna be here today. But no, it didn't make a difference. Those kids were still wild. It was still a hot mess. They've like, when I'm playing like music and stuff from the computer, like they'll come up and like stop and press play on the computer and like there's always messing with stuff so it's like constantly like hey little kid get off the computer hey kid get, and there's another one will come up and press the button and i'm like hey yo stop and then another one will come up and i'm just like yo then like the kindergarten teacher is already trying to handle some other kids that are over there acting crazy like i just don't know what to do with them i really don't i really don't they're they're just too much <sighs> I don't know. This week I'm just really missing my old school and I'm really missing my old kids. I really am. It's okay. It'll get better. I'm sure it'll get better. It must get better. It has to get better. If it doesn't get better, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, anyway. Okay, anyway, I'm going to bed for real. Okay, bye.